Let me walk you through the difference between a traditional drug development regulatory pathway versus the pathway that our technology prospectively enables us to pursue with SCR252 and other molecules that we're working on in our IND candidate nomination activities. The traditional pathway called a 505B1 NDA pathway is typically associated with molecules that are characterized as NCEs, novel chemical entities. There is no history of clinical data. They're not approved in any products. They're first in human type situations. Often they have a novel mechanism of action that also may not have ever been seen in human clinical trials in an approved drug. That pathway is a long haul. You're talking about at least two phase three trials, a pivotal trial, a confirmatory trial, and it really all depends on the results in the clinic. But you're not going to get a drug to market on that traditional pathway in the same period of time that you could under the 505B2 NDA pathway, which is only eligible to molecules that are not NCEs. They're already proven molecules. They already have FDA approved status, maybe in a different indication, maybe a different route of administration. It varies. SCR252 is uniquely positioned in that we have multiple products that are already approved for advanced Parkinson's patients. So we ought to be able to rely on the 505B2 NDA pathway. You're talking about prospectively getting a commercial asset, an approved commercial asset in a relatively short period of time, five years, six years, even sooner in some cases. And the cost of running those trials, you're typically dealing with smaller trials and fewer of them. And so the savings can be dramatic. It's called value accretion with biotech investors. The time to value accretion is substantially reduced.